Most bankers aren't ready to help you until after their third cup of coffee. But with Central National Bank's after-hours service, you don't have to wait for the bank lobby to open to get help. You can contact us from 6 to 8.30 in the morning or from 5 to 10 in the evening, and we'll connect you to a real, live, local person who can answer questions and fix problems seven days a week. Bank different. Bank central. Central National Bank. Member FDIC. Chapter 1. The Haunting of the Water Plant As Jennifer Love Hewitt and the members of Spectral emerged victorious from their battle against the smog monster, they knew their work was far from over. Reports had begun to surface of strange occurrences at the city's water treatment plant, an eerie wailing echoing through the pipes, mysterious leaks springing from nowhere, and sightings of shadowy figures lurking in the depths. Determined to uncover the truth behind these unsettling phenomena, Jennifer and the children of Spectral set out for the water plant, their hearts filled with courage and their minds sharp with determination. As they arrived at the sprawling complex, the air was thick with tension, the faint scent of chlorine mingling with the dank odor of stagnant water. Jennifer led the group through the maze of pipes and machinery, their footsteps echoing in the dimly lit corridors. Suddenly, a bone-chilling wail pierced the silence, sending shivers down their spines. And there, at the end of the hallway, stood the source of the haunting, a swirling vortex of water, its surface roiling with dark energy. It's a water demon, one of the children exclaimed, their voice trembling with fear. Jennifer nodded, her eyes narrowing with determination. We need to stop it before it causes any more harm, she declared, her voice steady despite the rising tide of apprehension. With a collective breath, Jennifer and the members of Spectral prepared to face their latest challenge, the wet ghosts that haunted the water plant. Chapter 2. The Battle Beneath the Waves As Jennifer and the children of Spectral approached the swirling vortex of water, they could feel the oppressive presence of the wet ghosts lurking within. With a silent nod of encouragement, they activated their proton packs and prepared to confront the Spectral entities. With a mighty blast, Jennifer and the children unleashed a torrent of energy against the wet ghosts, their proton beams crackling with power as they sought to banish the malevolent spirits from the water plant. But the wet ghosts were resilient, their watery forms shifting and swirling with ethereal grace as they launched their own attacks against the intruders. With each strike, the children fought valiantly, their determination unwavering in the face of danger. As the battle raged on, Jennifer's mind raced with strategies and tactics, searching for a way to defeat the wet ghosts once and for all. And then, amidst the chaos, she spotted a faint glow emanating from the heart of the vortex, a glimmer of hope in the darkness. There's a focal point at the center of the vortex, Jennifer called out, her voice cutting through the clamor of battle. That's where we need to focus our attacks. With renewed determination, Jennifer and the children directed their proton blasts toward the heart of the vortex, their combined efforts creating a dazzling display of light and energy. Slowly but surely, the vortex began to weaken, its surface churning and roiling, as the wet ghosts struggled to maintain their grip. And then, with one final burst of energy, the vortex collapsed in on itself, dissolving into nothingness and releasing the trapped spirits within. With a triumphant cheer, Jennifer and the members of Spectral emerged victorious, their mission accomplished, and the water plant saved from the clutches of the wet ghosts. Chapter 3. Reflections and Revelations as Jennifer and the children of Spectral emerged from the water plant, their spirits were buoyed by the knowledge that they had once again triumphed over the forces of darkness. But amidst the celebration, there lingered a sense of introspection, a recognition of the dangers they had faced and the challenges that still lay ahead. Gathering together in the fading light of the setting sun, Jennifer addressed the group, her voice filled with pride and gratitude. Today, we faced a formidable foe and emerged victorious she began, her words echoing through the quiet of the evening. But let us not forget the lessons we have learned and the sacrifices that were made. The path of a ghost hunter is fraught with danger, but together we can overcome any obstacle that stands in our way. The children nodded in agreement, their faces alight with determination. They had faced their fears and emerged stronger for it, ready to face whatever challenges awaited them in the days and weeks to come. As they made their way back to their headquarters, Jennifer couldn't help but feel a sense of pride swell within her. 
In the faces of the children she had taken under her wing, she saw the future of SPECTRAL, a legacy of courage, compassion, and camaraderie that would endure long after she was gone. And as they prepared for their next adventure, Jennifer knew that no matter what trials lay ahead, she would always have the unwavering support of her young comrades, the brave souls of Spectral, united in their mission to protect the world from the forces of darkness and despair.